And new information here tonight, the Biden administration could soon announce details on a plan to tighten the rules for asylum seekers. And in an election year where the border is a hot topic issue, Fox News White House correspondent Jackie Heinrich also takes a look at some new polling. The White House has not officially released the plan to shut down the border when illegal crossings surge, but the threshold reportedly mirrors the bipartisan border agreement that failed in the Senate earlier this year. And it's reportedly similar to a ban Trump tried to impose, but was overturned by the courts as a violation of federal asylum laws. Why are we waiting five months from the election? Why wasn't this done five months into this administration when we were seeing all these problems? It comes as the administration reportedly also allowed 350,000 migrants with pending asylum claims, to remain in the U.S. without a decision on their case merits. According to the New York Post, ICE lawyers told prosecutors in 2022 to dismiss pending asylum cases for migrants who don't pose a security threat and have no criminal record. And data tracked by Syracuse University suggests they followed through. That's going to encourage more people to show up. And for an administration that claims this is a humanitarian effort, you just created a whole population that has no status, right. nowhere to go. The Biden administration has not commented on the report, but critics say it won't help the president Polling. Based on immigration court data over the last 10 years, nine out of 10 of these people who claim asylum at the border won't win a case. You might as well shut down the immigration court. Take the border patrol off the border. If there's going to be no consequences. Voters trust Trump to do better on immigration, according to a Fox News poll, and he's also getting a bump in fundraising following his guilty verdict. Democrats want Biden to lean into the message that he's running against a convicted felon. You can only imagine uh, if if uh, the situation was reversed, they would be going after Joe Biden with a vengeance. The president spent the day at his Wilmington home, close by as his son Hunter's trial got underway. We don't know much about how he spent his time, except that he made a call to the new Mexican president-elect to congratulate her one day before his expected border announcement. At the White House, Jackie Heinrich, Fox News.